Good afternoon and welcome back to the West Ham Network. If you're new around here, please go and check out our good channel partners, KUMB.com, Knees Up Mother Brown. Hope you are safe and well as per usual. This is the West Ham Network. If you're new around here, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment as well as we are only literally 48 hours away from the biggest game of our modern lives as a West Ham fan, you can imagine, in the European conference final against Fiorentina and there are major issues potentially surrounding the Fiorentina boss um, West Ham take on them Fiorentina 8pm on Wednesday night looking for a first major trophy in European football for 40 odd years and in doing so would qualify for the Europa League now Fiorentina are a good side and they've put some good sides away in the Serie A this season and made the Italian Cup final in which they dominated the Inter Milan but we're desperately unlucky to lose in the final stages of the game. So it possibly could end up being a really close encounter. With that in mind, David Moyes is and possibly will relish any of the discontent surrounding the club right now. And that has been a major boost for West Ham so far, because that is that the sporting director of Fiorentina has hit out ahead of the Serie A champions, Napoli, who made an approach for their manager, Vincenzo Italiano. Um, Italiano is now the favourite to replace Luciano Spatelli, and Joe Baroni has accused Napoli of trying to dis destabilise their work ahead of the huge game against West Ham. What he did say was he has a contract, wants to clarify it, and that these are respected. Every time we go into big matches, news comes out that tries to destabilise the work we are doing. We're happy with our work, above all, with our future. Now, last month, we did hear about the fact that a couple of players did have to apologise to the Fiorentina boss after public criticism. Luka Jovic and Alexa Terzic were reportedly forced to apologise after sharing an Instagram post criticising the coach Vincenzo Italiano for a tactical disaster class against Basel. But um, they were supposedly told to um, go back and report back to the boss and apologise for that as well. And they are potentially and were looking at a fine. But what do you think of that? Does that make any difference for us going into this game? Let us know in the comment section below as we move on to the next story. And that is the fact that thousands and thousands, yes, you have heard me right, Thousands and thousands of West Ham fans are due to descend upon Prague in the Czech Republic for West Ham's final. As many as potentially 20,000 fans could be heading out there for the Wednesday night game. Um, what a massive, amazing achievement. The club has an allocation of just under 6,000 tickets for the 19,360 capacity stadium. Um, and we're expected that three times more fans are going to be making the trip. I thought I was going to be going out there, but I decided in the end that I didn't get, couldn't get a ticket for the game. I'll just stay at home. So I'm having a big West Ham party. Um, I've hired a venue locally to me. 50 to 60 West Ham fans are going to be there. So that'll be an exciting time as well but loads of people are going to be watching the game at the fan zone in Letna Park and that has been designated for the West Ham fans this area will be large enough to hold thousands of ticketless supporters but they are saying get yourselves there nice and early as well so make sure you are safe make sure you do enjoy it make sure you sing loud and proud because I'm sure we will and do the job as we are very capable of doing as West Ham fans now the final story for you is that Augie wants another year now he has said that talks over his London future um, will continue after the end of the season. The Italian, whose current deal is set to expire at the end of June, is amongst players currently out of contract this summer, but the 35-year-old has previously expressed his desire to extend his stay at the club beyond the season. Um, unlike many of West Ham's Premier League runs, David Moyes' side season does not finish up until this Wednesday evening as we take on Fiorentina again in the final. And ahead of the meeting against one of Ogbonna's old Serie A rivals, Ogbonna said he is very keen to continue to stay at the London Stadium while talks have taken place. They're said to vamp up once the season ends and that will happen a lot more with all some of the other players as well. He says we're talking about it when he told the Carrera Della Sport, we're waiting for the end of the season. I feel at home here. I love the club and the fans and I continue to give everything for West Ham. So what do you think? Are you happy if Augie stays? Will you be delighted if he stays for another year? You let me know in the comments section below. That's your short, sharp, straight to the point hammer headlines in association with our good friends over at Knees on the Brown. Hit the subscribe button if you are new around here. Thank you very much for watching. And of course, come on you irons.